Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out, out here at the Avon Park Hurricane here. 15, 20 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour sustain and 20 mile an hour gust. Make it fun. Um, got me a, war, a Corsair that I can rely on. And uh, we're gonna take this one up, have a little bit of fun. I've got the GNS uh, performance analyzer. We're gonna see what kind of speed. Now I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, a 2700 4S. I'm gonna take her up high, put her in a dive with the plant, with the, uh, with the wind, which I know is kind of cheating, but I'm going to just see how fast I can make this little guy move. All right. Here we go. Timer set for five minutes. And my rates are 100% throws over 30% expo. Got the uh, Liminar, Liminarx Gen 2 7 channel stabilized receiver. Just has wind gyro, which I will definitely need today but no self-level. They don't make them with self-level anymore. All right. Actually, we're probably fine right there. All right, do not need flaps today. Timer set for five minutes. Right, left, up, down, right, left. Whoa. Get up. All right, we're gonna take it right down here. Get right off the bat. Take it up high. Flipper. All right, I should definitely give him my speed run. <laughs> Gear down. Run a 2700 Liperior 4S. Gear up. Now landing this little guy is gonna be interesting. Very light plane, very strong wind. Let me leave her down there for just a second. <laughs> that was fun. See what kind of a speed we got there. Come on, stop. May oh, I have to be closer. Let me get her back to me. What I'm doing is I'm putting hard down elevator to push the keep, because that wind's at my butt, and keep that tail planted. As you can see that elevator, she's down. That acts as an air dam to keep that wind tail pushed down. Now I'm gonna do just the opposite now. All right, let's see if, it gave, if it'll give me my, my, my uh, speed now. We had that little plane going 108 mile an hour. Of course, in a dive with a big 4S. Oh, <laughs> in a dive with a big 4S with the wind. So, but I just want to see how fast I could get this thing going. So that's pretty cool. All right, we'll turn the app off. We got our speed reading. Let's just finish the flight and have some fun. <laughs> 108 mile an hour. Wow. That tail just lifting up on its own with the wind. Definitely got to stay on that rudder. Gear up. All right. Time remaining, four minutes. Fly it like a warbird. Because it is a warbird. Oh man, with the wind. With the wind, so she's getting rocked all over the place. Oh man, come on now. Get over here next to us. Definitely don't need don't need flaps today. Whoa, gust right there at the end. Always be ready to pull buck out. Pull back up again.
Is the tail ever going to set down? <laughs> okay, this is fun. We pull out here just a little bit. Staying on that rudder. Gear up. Pulling her next to us. Yeah, folks, I mean, I got Timer. gains kind of moderately set to, to handle this wind, but not so much where she's going to oscillate with, because uh, that's just the wind making that the wings move like that. Yeah, I, don't have, I got no aileron input at all right now, and she's just, just rocking all over. Yeah, definitely do not need flaps today. This is a no flap day, a no flap zone. Whoo! Whoa, I really shouldn't have let her sit down. That's exactly what I thought I'd get, a heavy bounce. So that happens, power right back out and go around. Trying to feel it out. Yeah, see that's what you're doing. You're you're allowing yourself to inch close when you're riding the wind like that, but maintain enough speed to keep lift. And a lot of that wind is maintaining a lot of that lift. All right, come on. Oh. All right, let me get turned around if I can. Yeah, so that wind is so strong I can't. All right, now, now plant my now and put down down hard elevator. Make that tail. Ah, oh, it's not working. Well, nope, that's not enough distance I don't think to take off. All right, now plant my tail. Not being in any big hurry. Yeah, you gotta remember the lighter the plane, the smaller the plane, the slower you need to go when you're trying to steer with the wind. But see, I've got that elevator straight down. All right, now with the wind or into the wind, I'm gonna leave it up to push the tail down. If I'm going to drive with the wind, I'm going to push the tail down. If I'm going to go against the wind, I'm going to put the tail up. All right, we can take off. Let's just take, well, the wind. <laughs> let's take up one more time, maybe a couple more times. Stay on that rudder, staying on that rudder. I'm keeping a lot of right rudder in when I'm taking off, just so you know. And usually with Warbirds, you got to keep some rudder in anyways, because they'll torque one way or the other. It's that P factor, that uh, a prop wash going over the rudder. Because you got so much power. Let's take it up, flip it. All right. See how well I can do inverted. Not bad. Actually, uh, gull wing planes, which there's there's several gull wing planes, but Corsairs are the most famous for being gull wing. They uh, fly just as well inverted as they do right side up. Yeah, see, I didn't didn't pick. I was trying to say earlier, when you're coming in that wind, you're going to land in heavy wind. You're just kind of riding that out, maintaining enough speed for lift, but slowing down enough, trying to find that one little sweet spot as you edge ever closer to the runway. To where you know, see, I'm going too fast now. Time for this, one so we're going to turn around. As you, I mean, anyways, as you edge ever so closer to the deck.
and then find that one little special spot, spot of po uh, pocket of air where you can set down just like that right there and set down in, like in between wind gusts and that that's something that takes time all right now keep that elevator up turn if i can if it'll let me come on now i'm going down elevator down elevator let that elevator push stay pushed down by the wind of the air dam all right all right so real quick prop secured let's talk about that for just a second when you've got crazy wind that's down the runway and you've got a very light little plane okay as your goal if you're riding into the wind okay into the wind you're going to want to keep hold on that that that's the wind pushing that prop 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 is off prop is off that's the wind all right as you're taxiing into the wind if you're just trying to taxi not take off okay keep that tail planted and then let the let it lift off and then take off now if you're taxiing taxiing with the wind okay with the wind okay and you want that tail stay planted then you're gonna go down elevator, okay? Because that dam there, that pushes like a dam and it keeps that tail planted, giving you more purchase as you go along. This is for extreme wind uh, situations. So yeah, the prop is off. Throttle cut is on. That's just the wind turning that prop. <laughs> it's just a little crazy today. But it's just like I guess that's just how I fly anymore. Just unless I'm here in the mornings. I'm not complaining. It, it's actually wind makes for a stronger pilot. 39%. Not bad at all. Uh, just to show you the insides of the plane. Okay. You got that? All right. That black box there, that's the GNSS performance analyzer. There'll be a link. In the vid, uh, video, uh, the description of the video for its purchase, you get it at Motion RC. And yes, it is an affiliate link. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a seven channel Lemon RX Gen 2, um, which I use because it's got stabilizer, it's got the wind mitigation, and today you definitely need it. And uh, I'll have a link for that one. That's also an affiliate. You know what? Everything on this is affiliate. And the plane itself, you get this through Arrows. And like I say, this is the Corsair I can count on. Y'all know what I'm referring to, to my, that, that big one. And uh, its retracts are nice and solid. But uh, there'll be a link for this plane. Now, if you use my link to get this Corsair, um, it's not just helping me, but you, you can take $10 off the price. I know 10 bucks ain't much, but better than nothing. And uh, so you use the link, use code, uh, all caps, FGFRC for Fat Guy Flies RC. And there'll be a link there in that code, and you can take $10 off the price. All right, folks. Well, thank you for watching. That's the F4U Corsair version 2. Not really sure what the difference is. I guess because it does have thrust reverse, but I don't ever use it because you just don't need it. Um, but she's got lights. She's got flaps. The flaps are really small, but they, do, they are effective. Um, it does have drop tanks, but I'd leave them off. So... For, for performance reasons but it's just a great flying plane all right folks y'all have a good don't forget to like and subscribe god bless you and don't forget today family and friends and then corsairs that are reliable bye-bye